Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your November Tarot reading. I'm using my magic soul tarot for you and I'm going to lay out the Celtic cross. This is a reading if your sun, moon, rising and or Venus sign is in uh, Sagittarius. Also, of course, welcome to all the cross watchers. Let's start with your reading. All right, what are the energies for Sagittarius? What are the energies for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in November. What should Sagittarius know about November? All right, first card, Princess of Wands, Four of Cups as the challenge, Princess of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, wow. And we have the Ten of Wands, Seven, uh, sorry, that's the Chariot. There is, a, there is a Seven, funny, I felt that already, Seven of Swords, Five of, uh, five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, the advice is the Magician, and we do have here the Hierophant, all right. So um, I'm the first message I'm getting actually is the message from the advice and that um, tells me keep your vision. If you want to manifest your visions, your dreams into reality, it's important to use your manifestation skills now and to absolutely hold your vision. Something new is about to manifest, but it's also about putting in the work, putting in the energy to basically come a step closer towards the universe. So the universe wants to make your dreams a reality and your visions a reality, but you need to come a few steps towards the universe as well. That's the first message I'm getting here for you. Now, the main energy is the Princess of um, Wands. So that's a very exciting energy here. There seems to be some sort of new opportunity, new beginning, uh, maybe through an exciting offer, an exciting message coming in, or maybe something new that you have just discovered for yourself. So there is something I feel like where you are initiating a new beginning, where you just want to say yes to something. Uh, may that be a new hobby, a work, especially since the Princess of uh, Pentacles here in your in your thinking of it. So while while this is a very oh my god I really want to do this or like a super exciting message or. Uh, a really exciting offer that is coming in. The princess then is very pragmatic about it. It's like, okay, so you're basically thinking a little bit more about it, which I really like, because what you're thinking about is where um, you're now going to invest your time, maybe your money and your energy or work into. Now, this could be connected to uh, to obviously love, it could be connected to business, uh, could be connected to some sort of project or anything else really. But what I see here as well with the four of cups in this position is that that's the challenge. And I feel like while there is something that really, really excites you, you're very open and curious and well, if there wouldn't be also this thought about what's uh, now profitable or what what's pragmatic or what's uh, realistic here, I feel like you would jump right in. Um, but the Four of Cups also tells me that you kind of like, I feel like you're not quite sure if this is truly going to make you happy or is truly giving you fulfillment. Because the Four of Cups basically talks about being maybe frustrated or being not fully happy and fulfilled here. And um, so that could be some sort of challenge, um, especially since this can be an offer and that can be an offer and that can be an offer. So we have this weird triangle of, oh my God, I'm so open. I'm so ready to do something here. But, um, but is it really going to give me happiness and fulfillment? Is that really the thing now? And then also, in addition to that, the energy of, 
okay, is this now where I'm investing into? Is this where I'm investing my time, my money, my finances? Depending on the area of life, this is manifesting in. Um, on the one hand, I feel like you want to secure yourself. On the one hand, you're thinking about, okay, I want to make everything right. I want to secure myself. I want to have a foundation. I want to have a base now. Um, so that's an aspect as well that you're thinking about. But I also feel like there's a sense of real excitement when it comes to it. And, and possibly you being torn between that fire, that excitement about a little bit more maturity in that sense that you want to make everything right and that you want to think about what's worth your time or investment. And then there is this little, almost like a little doubt here where you're like, ah, is that the thing that's going to make me happy and that's going to fulfill me? The energy you are moving from into here is teamwork. So there might be other people who have helped you to get here. It's always like teamwork makes a dream work. So some sort of other people, uh, connections. It doesn't need to be a team of people. It could be simply one person here. But I feel like some sort of collaboration or friendship or working together has led you to be here. People are here on this card weaving their talents together, weaving their unique skills together in order to create something. So in some shape or form, I feel like either that was the case with other people or that was you using your unique skills in order to create this opportunity here, in order to create this interesting new beginning. And it seems very interesting, but also... Like I said, it's like you're, it's, you're swinging a little bit left and right here when it comes to it because it seems like there's a lot attached to it. The seven of pentacles we have in your emotional side of things. So I feel like one part of you, and that's interesting because you have a hierophant here, one part of you believes in divine timing, that everything comes to the right time and that sometimes we just need to be patient in order for things to arrive and to manifest. And that certainly is true. So that's one thing that I feel here. The seven of wands, uh, sorry, the seven of pentacles, however, is also an energy. And that is interesting with everything that we have just talked about, where the sevens ask you to, um, the sevens basically ask you to reconsider a situation, to reevaluate. And I feel like, this is in a way what you're doing and it's on the emotional side because I and that's that's a challenge here right it's not like those cards are turned around in a different way and because that's the challenge the the cups is the challenge and now we have on the emotional side of things which is cups in general we have the seven of pentacles so there's something within you mm, that is asking yourself or where you are asking yourself um, is this going to be worth it? Um, is it going to be worth to put that time and energy and work and maybe money into that situation? Um, will, it pay out, pay, will it pay off? Um, is this the path that is going to lead to abundance? So there is some sort of reconsideration when it comes to that situation um, where you're just, again, basically similar to this card, but this is more about thinking of starting. This is more like the beginning energy, while this is, again, more the energy. Okay, will it pay off? Is that what I should continue to invest in? Uh, beside that, there might be an energy present as well where you need to be patient. So simple as that. The Ten of Wands here. Mm, you're going to feel a little bit of a burden that might be mentally, emotionally or even physically. There is a positive side to this card, or actually two positive sides. So this is the um, the uh, the other side of the medal when it comes to success. So there might be a lot of success connected to that situation, but with a lot of success come a lot of responsibilities, come a lot of work, and you just maybe being so busy that you feel overburdened and like super stressed. So that is basically a positive side. <laughs> but that is attached to a slightly negative side, the stress part and overburden part of it. 
This is also a card where uh, you have gained a lot of experiences. So uh, you have become stronger through all the struggles, through all the ups and downs and conflicts and uh, yeah, the journey basically you've experienced. So the 10 obviously being a wrapping up energy, you might be wrap up something, it might be a little bit difficult, uh, but it has, um, uh, you, you were growing from it and I feel like in a certain situation you might have grown or you might have learned everything that you need from it. You have grown as much as you could in that specific situation. Uh, you have your package here of good and bad experiences of strategies that you have developed to overcome certain challenges. So I feel like in, in that sense it could also be a very positive energy where you're like okay I'm done with something, I'm wrapping something up, it's going to maybe be a bit difficult here, but I've learned all I could from that situation. Um, another aspect, obviously, is simply the aspect of being overburdened. So if that is the case, if this is something coming towards you, just be a bit mindful to take time for yourself and to not stress yourself as much and maybe learn to say no uh, or, uh, how do you say, um, give, sorry, uh, give, tasks to other people that other people help you so you don't need to do any everything on your own the chariot is a moving energy you might be moving you might be relocating you might be traveling um, as a very simple uh, interpretation of this card in your position um, however this is also a card of being very focused and very determined so you're using your willpower in the month of november to achieve your goals successfully and I think that's very important as well. So you are doing something because that's what I always say with this card. When you only visualize and want to manifest things, that's great. But you also need to do something. You need to take inspired action. And I feel like this card is absolutely telling me that you are taking inspired action here. Something is about to manifest. So hold your vision. Uh, keep on moving forward. You're doing the right thing here. Um, so it might also mean that you're taking control over a situation that you're like, okay, I, I feel good. I feel like I'm in control of this. I'm not going to let anything or anyone distract me from my path. Now I keep, uh, yeah, interestingly, what comes to mind here is actually the same thing as here. I need to hold my vision. I need to keep my focus on my goal and the direction I'm going towards and not be like a, um, how you say, like a headless chicken who's like, oh my God, I need to do here and here and there. Blah, blah. No, 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 no. It's important that you stay focused and concentrated. Uh, very interestingly, we have the Seven of Swords in your environment. So this might be a person, this might be your outside environment, it might be the effect, somebody on the outside or something on the outside has onto you. So that might be an exit strategy. Maybe you think, maybe somebody or something in your life makes you feel like you need an exit, an exit strategy. <laughs> you need to get away. You need to have a clever idea of how to now uh, sneak away from something or someone or a surrounding. Um, so again, that could be some sort of movement here. Um, it's some sort of strategy. It, fe it feels like Maybe somebody is inspiring you to have a strategy. Maybe something happened in your outside world that made you feel like, okay, I really need to have a good strategy now. Um, so far, so good. With the Seven of Swords, obviously every tarot reader will, will say that. Um, there comes an element of deception, which doesn't always need to be the case. And I'm not really getting it. I'm just saying it to have said it. Um, I'm mostly getting really the energy of, okay, I need to have a strategy here, especially since you're thinking so much about what's happening. There is the excitement, the fire, then there's the practical side of things. Then there is the question, the question side of things here. So I really feel that whatever is happening to you or with you now in November, it brings you back to having a strategy here. For some people, it might be that somebody has a strategy here. Maybe somebody else has an exit strategy here. So this only counts if you already had a feeling. If you have a feeling like somebody might not be fully open and honest, um, 
then that might be why, because maybe that person has some sort of strategy he or she hasn't shared with you yet. Um, that also doesn't always need to be a deception thing. It's just sometimes the way it is. Sometimes we might not share our strategies um, and plans that we have straight away with other people. So that might be simply the case of somebody might have not shared their plans with you yet. Hopes and fears is conflict, uh, challenges. So connected to that situation, your fears are that there is a lot of conflict and maybe conflict that seems to be too difficult to overcome. Uh, that's basically the five of one seer. Maybe you're also afraid of conflict with other people that you try to avoid here. That might be uh, the case as well. I do, however, feel like this whole situation is divinely guided. The Hierophant talks about your connection to the divine. Um, so what I want to say here is with everything that is happening, don't forget your connection to the divine. You might, um, you might say synchronicities, you might get signs, may that be feathers or coins or numbers. So the Hierophant is an energy here um, about having faith and that's underneath. So maybe at the moment your faith in your soul's plan, in your soul journey, is maybe not really anchored yet because of some sort of questions. Uh, doesn't mean that it's, hold on a second, it doesn't mean that it's not anchored yet. It might just be that connected to that situation, you might be a little bit insecure, especially with those questions you might ask yourself. So that's as simple as that. Um, but I feel like have faith, um, have faith in the divine and um, you might receive some important messages. Some of the messages the divine gives us is not just through numbers and feathers where you're like, oh yeah, great, but what am I doing with that now? Sometimes you overhear a conversation where something important has been said or something is happening and when you go shopping you for some reason talk to a person and the person says something that has a relevance sometimes the divine sends messages to us through other people so just be open to receive messages here you're moving into the eight of um, pentacles so what this tells me is that you're deciding to work on that thing so as simple as that as many questions as you ask yourself here you're deciding to work on that you might even decide to get um, help you might decide to get help from an expert here to help you move things forward a bit better faster sooner um, but uh, the seven is here that's the eight um, of pentacles so i feel like you're absolutely saying yes to something, putting your time and energy, your work into a project, a situation. Uh, funny, this card just uh, flipped itself. I want to have this here. I want to put another card for you, however. This says absolutely your commitment is being cast, uh, your commitment is being tested and that's what I feel here. Do you really want to do this? Do you really want to work for this? Put work into that, even though it seems to be very exciting. Again, with the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel like you're going to do that. So, um, yeah, let's put one more card here. One more card for Sagittarius. One more card. Um, a personal issue reaches solution for moon in Cancer. You might have Cancer aspects yourself or know somebody uh, with cancer um, aspects where this might also relate to. However, the main energy of this card is a personal issue re reaches solution, but your commitment to that situation is being tested. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading and that you resonate with it. I'm looking forward to see you guys next time. Thank you.